so now we are going to look into github so github is a source control platform okay so that every developers use to create projects okay so this is a cloud platform where you can safely place and store your project files and also fork into new projects okay so let's see how we can access github so just type in github in google and just go to github.com or you can directly go to github.com and then uh, you have to create a new account so you can go to sign up since i already have an account so i'm just going to sign in it's a simple uh, sign up process that you can do so for now i'm going to sign in so once you sign in uh, you're going to see uh, this option that you see here right now on your left side you have your repositories so repository is nothing but your uh, your new project if it is a new project it is a repository it's a new repository files so under that repositories you can store different different file types okay so uh, i'll be showing you how you can you know in a very simple way the simple things that you can upload your uh, files from your local system okay whatever uh, the files that you have from your local system the the project that is already started and you have already worked on it so such uh, files you can upload into github so first you can click on new so first you can create a new repository for this project okay something like some test project okay uh, so you can give different description uh, you know that will describe your project so this will be very helpful if someone uh, gets into your file okay so they will know what it is about what is that repository about okay so you can either keep it public or for your own private for your own uh, use so make sure you always uh, check with a readme file so that readme file uh, will be your description that you give okay about the file so it will provide you a text file for you to read about your repository okay so for now you can just click on readme file and hit on create repository okay so now it is going to create a repository under test project okay so uh, you can see here the repository is created that is test project so under this you have your uh, readme file the readme file is right below here so now since we have not given any description as such so it is just printing the uh, repository name for now so you can definitely go and edit this readme file for itself here itself okay you can do this here itself and type some description under this okay and then you can save this so you can come here and do commit changes so this is going to update your readme file okay so now uh, when you hit on home here that is on the top left so it is going to show you the list of repositories that you have created okay click on the, you can just click on the repository that you need and you can again come back to your uh, here you have here you have code so here uh, is the file section where you keep all your folders and files here uh, uh, everything that you need to create a project if you want if somebody has uh, reported an issue you can report an issue here right here okay and uh, we can pull request and all the project things like sorting the task planning your project so all this can be done in your uh, repository for your particular project okay so you have the insights uh, the project insights how many uh, issues have come up how many have you solved and what are the things uh, that needs to be taken care so all such insights you are going to get 
under insight section so you can definitely see what are the who are the contributors and uh, what is the traffic that people are uh, viewing this particular project so all such information you can definitely get uh, using github so if you want to add a file a new file just go to add file first you need to go to the code tab okay and then uh, you come here you can either create a new file okay just now how you created a readme file how you edited that so you are going to get a file just like that so here so here you can type anything that is needed for this project or some other file and then you can commit it as new file so for now i don't need this so i'll be leaving this so you can either do that or you can upload file okay so this is a very simple process either you can drag the file here or you can choose it from your local system okay so anything that you need to upload that is required for this project you can definitely upload it here and hit on commit changes so here uh, you can write the necessary information like a uh, quick update a quick update or something like that okay so whenever you update it whenever the file is getting updated you can put new uh, new titles here okay quick update uh, this is a quick reminder or anything that is needed for other developers to know okay so if you have done some changes in the code you can uh, leave a commit changes comments okay so that the other developer knows that yeah you have done some changes in the file okay uh, so that is it about uh, github that you need to know okay you can also uh, search files that are created by other authors okay you can also get into that file and you can save those files in your local system so for now i have some files here okay so this is completely about uh, data science okay and everything about machine learning and all those some projects fi files that i have okay so if you want to download this in a pdf or something you will get so for pdfs you get the direct download option for your system okay so this is uh, you can see the download option here okay and then uh, if you have any python files if you have some assignments or something so you can just go to the file and you have to right click on this and you have to make it as save link as okay when you hit on save link as so it is going to ask you where uh, you need to save this particular file okay so you can give your particular name that you need for this file so this will be in an ipynb file so that is a jupyter notebook file so that's why it has that extension okay you can e uh, you can download it this way so when you have chosen your folder then you can hit on save and you can download this particular file okay so that is how you can use github for other authors okay so if if it is a public file okay if there if there is someone else who has a public file on github you can definitely download that file to your local system and work on it okay so this is about github